Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan here from Tweak My Device. Uh, I've got the, once again, awesome Droid Bionic. This is a completely stock state. Um, I just flashed the FXZ file. So, I want to go ahead and root this. And I just wanted to make a quick video and, and show you all how simple it is. Um, to start, I'm just going to show you. In my app drawer, there's no super user icon. All right, it should show up there. And when I go in here to menu about phone, you can see I'm running standard software here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead into applications and check unknown sources. And make sure USB debugging is checked also. Alright, so now that we've done that, um, I'm providing a link for you to download some drivers. Make sure you have installed the Motorola drivers if you've not already done that. And you're also going to want to download Pete's Motorola tools. So we're plugging in our Bionic. And we want to have USB charge only. All right, so make sure you set it to that. And as you can see down here on the bottom of the screen, we do have the message telling us our device is ready to use and our drivers are good to go. So once you have these downloaded, here's Pete's Motorola Root Tools. All right, once you have this, Pan around just a little bit for you there. Go ahead and extract this out to your desktop. Right click and create a new folder. We'll just call it Pete this time. Double click that to open it. And go ahead and click and drag and select and then drag those files right over there. Alright, so your Bionic is, is connected. Now you're going to run Pete's root tools and we're going to hit root my phone. It'll search for your phone. Again, we've already had ours connected, so uh, just let it do its thing, basically. Um, for those of you that don't know what rooting is, first of all, you should Google it and do some research before you do uh, you know, some things like this to your $600 smartphone. But basically, rooting gives you super user access so you can get into your system files you can change things that are typically locked out by default and so my device is uh, rebooting now part of the process should be rooted one more reboot And you guys really should be careful. I uh, like that last message says, be careful what you do once you're rooted. If you go in there and start messing around with some system files that you know, you're not too sure about what they do, you can have some bad consequences. And as you can see here, you can also unroot your phone. So you would you know, connect in the same way, run the same tool again, except do the unroot. Now let's take a look in, in, in our app folder. Cool, and now you see we have super user. And the phone is good to go. Let's do some root things to it. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope it uh, helps you out. Leave some comments and stay tuned for more videos from Tweak My Device.